Marcianos, que está pasando? Now, you already know what that get down. You already know I'm Puerto Rican. You know how I get down. What's up? Um, anyway, thank you, dear father, for having me here doing your reading. And if you're watching me, you know how I get down, Pisces. I don't sugarcoat a motherfucking thing. It is what it is. All right, today is Friday, October the 28th. Tomorrow is my niece's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear niece. All right, now, and it is. Scorpio season, but you got a twist of Taurus up in that bitch, okay? So, don't get all misconfined and misconfused and all of this about what it is. You know, it is what it is. So, you need to be on a level where you know what you want and you're not all slacking all over the damn place. Because that's just human nature. Somebody going to tell you, I know how my life is going to be every day. They're lying to you, okay? Because if you knew what, what how your life is going to be every day that you wake up, like you know that your life is going to be perfect, then you must not be, honey, what are you, an alien or something? Because we do live amongst alien, right? We do live amongst um these uh, other people in the world that we think they are human and they are in the flesh, but they're really aliens. If y'all think that we don't have these people among us, you must be out of your damn mind. They walking around us. Best to believe that shit. All right? Ah, shit. You better ask somebody. They, people talk, oh, no, 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 no. Honey, you might be working with one for all you know. You don't know who's alien who ain't. Just because, what you think? They supposed to walk around here with this big Google wise and big old cone heads? Oh, no, honey. They've been around way before we go. We was around, honey. Remember, they 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 got objects that go from the ground straight up. All right? They already zooming your ass in. What? They've been zooming in for a long time. Okay? All these different countries and different parts of the world talking about some they don't believe. Oh, they believe. That's why they send people to the, to the moon and all that shit. Because they want to investigate shit that's been around longer than now. Why did I even get in that subject? I don't even know why I even went there. Damn, what the hell? Okay, let me ring the bell today. I don't even know what that was about. I just went I just went um to the left. And, and, and I ain't never been to the left like that. Damn, what the hell? Well, maybe, you know, the universe wanted me to say something. Or anyway, so... Thank you for all those who like and share and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to do that. If you watch me, you can do that. You know what I don't understand? How can people go when, and I'm doing a live broadcast and then they sitting there watching me and don't even like, don't even hit the, the button to like. But you got 40 people watching you and you got 10 people not saying nothing. Why are people like that? I don't get it. I don't get it. It don't make any sense to me. But anyway, I guess everything ain't supposed to make no sense to me, right? So don't forget tomorrow, um, oh, tomorrow at 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock, I will be going live, okay? 5 o'clock, but I do have an engagement, so uh, uh, remember, if I say a yes or no and you answer me more than that, you definitely ain't going to get your answer. Please don't wait for me to answer back to you because I'm not. So if I don't answer you back, you know what that means? You step out of line and I'm not going to see him play games with no grown ass people. Now, if you all go to my webpage and plan on purchasing my black spell breaker, uh, spell breaker candle, if this is for anything that you feel is not going right in your life, anything, people might be doing some Ouija Ouija shit on your ass, or... <clears throat> They don't have to do anything. That could be thinking some negative shit about you. Or wanting to do evil shit with your hair and your pictures and shit like that. Or your clothes. Honey, you know, you got to be careful where you leave your panties and bras and things like that. At people's house. Or maybe a shirt or sweater or pair of pants. Honey, they might not want to give you a shirt. Got it over there in the corner of that room. Talking about, I got it. It's somewhere in there, but I can't find it. You don't know what your, honey, all them people that come in their house and... They women, they sleeping with all that energy all up in your clothes and collecting that energy. Honey, I went through that time. I went through that one time. Somebody kept my clothes for a long time. Can you imagine? My clothes are sitting behind something. And my my, my clothes collecting all. And I'm going to say, I ain't going to tell you what part of clothes it was. But 
it was collecting all the uh, coochies that that person was around and all the smoking and the partying. Can you imagine if my sweater had ears? It would have told me all the business, all right? So this candle is definitely the, um, you know, this candle is definitely to break all that shit off because I made sure I break shit off when it comes to me. And the full moon is coming in tomorrow, and they say don't do rituals. I would, honey, I do rituals, whether it's sunny, shine, blue, green, orange, whatever it is. My rituals ain't got nothing to do with no full moon, okay? I live by rituals, okay? This is the Abundant Prosperity Healing Growth Fertility Candle. This is about the job, the abundance that you want. If you want to have a baby or whatever it is in your life that you want to get it right, that's the candle to burn, to open up the doors. All right, this is the Love Yourself Candle. We shall all burn that damn thing, okay? The Justice Candle is what I believe in, and I believe right is right. I don't play. I don't short nobody, not even a damn penny. If I owe you a penny, I'm going to give it to you. I don't... I don't go by that, oh, well, uh-uh. I give you what you are, and guess what? What goes around comes around. Call my ass away, you're coming. So that justice is what it is, all right? This is the Palo Santo and the Sage, and it comes with two Palo Santo and the Sage, right? This is what I used to do my rituals at times, but you know I write God a letter every day. And if anybody knows, you know that we all need to have this. It, this is like... A band-aid. This is like, you know, you have that medicine cabinet if you get sick or whatever. This is the walnut is a must-have and keep in your house because this is definitely working with your shadow. And if you feel like you cannot get over something or why you still in it, take a shot or bath in there and see how your shit will be popping off. And let me tell you, I'm not saying popping off like, oh, no, it shows you, it brings to you in your face what the problem is and what you, what part of the problem you're playing in. Okay, that's the that's the mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Tell the truth of what it is to you. <laughs> oh, shit, I made that one up. All right. So, and this is the um red brick dust right here. And this right here is good. If you got a nosy neighbor or you got somebody all in your property and want to know what you're doing, put that thing around your house. And if you don't have a house, put it in front of your door. Or if you in, in the house and then you got people that, like a man that, you know, sleeping with the enemy or your kids and people acting good, put that stuff in front of that door, in front of your bed. You know, and I don't mean sprinkle it on your bed. Sprinkle a little bit. People be like, well, I, what about if I sprinkle and they, I don't give a damn. First of all, that's why I live alone. When I do shit, I do shit. I ain't got to explain shit to nobody. I do what I do. Okay? Now. I don't work no darkness, so everything I do, I do to bring the light. So, if anybody want to fuck with me, you better know that you ain't coming with me half-stepping because I'm watching and seeing you before you even come my way. And even though I miss you so much, baby, I'm still thinking about you. Ah! That's... <laughs> All right, now. These are the uh, crystals in the stone. I don't know why I have to say that. Damn. Punish your damn self, Lisa. All right, my crystal, I mean, my bracelets that I, you know, wear, evil eye. But let me tell you, this right here is my home sweetie girl. And you know what? Her name is Nicole. She she lives by the justice. She she made them justice cards that I, honey, you know, Nicole, I haven't been doing using your justice card because I've been focusing on the money and the career and whatever's coming up. But believe in me, honey. Your justice card sits right here on my altar. I can pick that baby up at any given moment because that's the way it is. Right here. Boom. So if anybody want to know and get Nicole's justice card, look at that. It says something is hidden. Keep your mouth shut. They don't want you to know about it. That's what Nicole's card just said. All right. This is my detox saw bath. If anybody don't know what it is, this is the cave saw. And I'm going to tell you right here, this is what my cave saw salts look like. They look like Stones, baby, you hear me? And that's on your body. And then when you take a bath with it, you look at the on the bottom. You know why you taking a bath? The water, the bottom of it's like um, like if you taking it turns into like a uh, dirt. Like if you ever been to Hawaii, and that you know it's not like here where the sand sticks onto you. It's like crystals just fall off of you. It's like it's not like the the salt and the dirt here. It's a different. I don't know if it's from the volcano. But whatever it is, you ever been to Hawaii? I've been there. And the water and the, the dirt is different in here. I think they say everything is man-made there. 
but I think it's coming from the volcanoes, okay? Yes, the lava, whatever it is, it's, it's some weird shit. And I have to tell you, outside of my house, I got a lava stone there, okay? A real lava stone. Yes, I do. Um, if anybody want to take an herb bath, a herb bath, that all the herbs, you know, that place different parts for whatever you want to open up your door or whatever it is. That's what I got. You just got to look for what you want. And while you're looking for what you want, please read what you want. Just don't get anything. Read what you're getting. Read what you're buying. All right? All right, before I do your reading prices, I, I always like to go and read uh, what is the finance department looks like. What is the finance department look like? Now, y'all know, Pisces, y'all doing real good, or y'all going to be doing good financially. But, you know, it's a struggle when it comes to love and the Pisces, you know. That's the struggle that we always get, you know. But I don't struggle with nothing. Whatever's meant to be is going to be. And whatever, I'm just chilling. So if I'm supposed to meet somebody, I'm going to meet them. If somebody wants to come back from the past, please come right. Because if you don't, don't come near me. All right, that's just the way, that's my rules. That is the rules I live by. All right, here we go, Pisces. Jonah R. R. Michael, please allow me to do this reading and help me and come in and take over this body because ain't no telling what's going to come out of my mouth. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Budgeting. So somebody is budgeting. They got a potato on one end and then they got coins on the other end. Now, this is funny, right? Because if you look at the coins on this, it looks like Mexican money. That's exactly how Mexican's coin looks like. All right? And then you got the potato there. And then you got all these pennies and $10 that say over there. But it's like you budgeting your money. You're trying to balance your money. You know, you're looking at it like it's just certain things you can't buy. You may want to buy, you know, like you making sure that, you know, you pay your bills. You got enough money to, you know, eat, but you got to make sure your bills are getting paid. It says resign. It said resign, retire. So maybe that's why somebody's really, maybe somebody is leaving work or maybe health issues or, you know, or resigning from a job. You know, when you resign, honey, you live by a fit income. But whatever it is, maybe somebody's fit, living by a fit Buy a fixed income, all right? Maybe somebody don't have enough to cover everything that they have to pay. And, you know, they got to they gotta be very careful how they spend their money, all right? Because maybe they um don't have the income they used to have, all right? So that's what it's telling you, that you got to be careful how you spend because... You don't have income. Everything seems like it's going up. But when is the government going to say, let's raise some of these prices for um pay, you know, paycheck, these businesses to pay people, whatever it is, more money because it's not meeting up. Economy is not going to meet up what people want to pay you. They want you to work like a dog for them, but they don't want to pay you. But then you got to live and buy shit that's a, a, a gallon of uh a gallon of, air, uh, of milk is like damn near three dollars or something, like you know, five dollars. You know, they went to raise the, the eggs for eighteen dollars at one point. That shit was crazy. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, and but it went down, right? But still, still, you know, it's like the government needs to match what, how we live. Okay, we can't go to work and work 40 hours, but our checks still look like compared to what we paying. The 40 hours look like we only worked 15 hours. And, every, and the, the, as soon as you get your pay, you go pay your gas bill, your land, everything's gone. How the hell they expect you to live, but you're going to go to work, but you still ain't making enough to live because everything is going up. But your money ain't going up, but everything else is. It don't make no damn sense. Right? Then they want to know where you get your money from and what you're doing. That's fucking ridiculous. That's the world. That's the, 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 the day, the way, the way we live. It, all right? They just raised up minimum wage. They need to raise it up again. Right? They need to raise up minimum wage again, and they need to raise up everybody's job. Not just, minimum, not just a regular, anybody's job. 
Because you, know, you can't live off of what you're making. So it seems like somebody is, you know, really in a, on a tight budget. On a real tight budget. All right? Living in a real tight budget. That's what that is. It's like, shit, man. I got to work three jobs to make the check to, to make the check I used to make to be able to live right. You know? I need more than one income coming in to live a regular, normal life. All right? So it says overtime. It's like, like that's what I mean. Like, no matter how much overtime you put in, you still ain't making enough. The more overtime you put in, the more the government takes out. So what are you getting? What do you think you get because you're working overtime? You think that, you know, you're going to see that dollar or two? The government's taking that money out. By the time you look at your overtime check, it look, you didn't, you shouldn't even work it because it's not worth it. All right. So it's a, it's like budgeting. It's feel like you feel like you tight when it comes to money. It feels like you tight with it. Like you know, it's it's like I need to breathe. I need something. You know, I need something to make me breathe. Here, I'm tired of living like this. All right, I'm tired of living by a check, paycheck by paycheck, and I still ain't got shit. You know. So you really budgeting your money. All right. All right, Pisces, right, let's move on from that. That's the money procedures there, okay? So let's get going. Somebody look like they working hard as fuck in front of a computer, looking at the computer like, shit, man, this shit is getting on my nerves. Somebody might work finan in finance. Somebody may work in front of a calculator all the time. Um, <clears throat> budgeting, doing payroll, all right? Um, doing some type of... um. Loans, booking, whatever it is. It's like you work from home doing something here. All right? All right, here we go. Let's get down with the business. I don't want to stay on that too long. All right, let's go. Spirit, Archangel, and Jonah, Arch, show me what I need to see. So God is giving you, what the hell? God is giving you, when you see a bird in a, in a cup like that, that is major. This is major. These are the aces, honey. So I'm going to pull out the three cards and then I'll be able to tell you exactly what I see. All right, let's go. Tell me more about this ace of cups. The major, honey. This is major. Major. Tell me more about this ace of cups. Tell me more about this ace of cups. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Lord Jesus. The will of fortune. All right. Oh, the eight of wands came out with that will of fortune. Come on, spirits. Talk to me, spirit. Something is moving fast towards you. And the lovers. Oh, Jesus. What the hell is going on here? Mr. Loverboy. Shaka. Oh, Jesus. Did I say that? All right. Mr. Loverboy wants to bring back love to you, concerned that you moving on away. Somebody's moving away from somebody. <laughs> all right. I want to give you all this love, okay? But it's a will of fortune here saying that it's something moving, either traveling or whatever it is. It's like something major here is on the wheel. The wheel always move. Either you're going somewhere, it's either uh, uh, driving somewhere, traveling somewhere, things are moving fast for you. This also can mean that good fortune is coming to you, and it's coming fast, baby. And somebody got to make a decision about this love that's coming towards you. Oh, my God. Damn, who is this? Is it Mr. Loverboy Chakra? Mr. Loverboy Chakra. I can't stand it. Mr. Loverboy. Who is Mr. Loverboy in my life? Who is Mr. Loverboy in my life? You may have an, um, um, ele ele something that's elevating. Um, are you dealing with a Sagittarius? Are you dealing with a Pisces? Are you dealing with a Gemini, a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer? But the major two cards is the Gemini, and then it says again, are you dealing with a Sagittarius or Gemini? These are the major two signs. But then next to it is the wands. Every such tears the Leo. And then Mr. Loverboy Chakra, which is Pisces Scorpio Cancer, was popping. So somebody wants to, um, like somebody wants to give you this big old love, but it's but this is coming from the above stages, honey. The above stages. 
The bus station is God, honey. God is giving you some type of uh, taste here. All right. God is telling you, I got this. I got this. It's a fresh start. Something fresh is starting here, right? A new look, a first step, a good direction, a turning of event, a new possibility in love. Oh, my God. Awareness, a new concept. Your heart is open and full with love. Somebody want to come in. A new arrangement and a change of a plan. Oh, Jesus. A new influence with good energy. Okay. Time is good to shift direction to more promising opportunity. I know that's right. Okay. So now, it's something here that is a positive energy that's coming to you and it's in a relationship a connection a deep feelings of love and friendship this can be in a friendship it can be a love it can be somebody want to take it to the next level and somebody is getting in their car and saying i need to go see you okay who was that coming to visit me well if you're coming to visit me I hope you're coming with a brand new effect and look and it's in a new heart. Okay. I hope you're moving your heart from your sleeve and putting it on your chest. Okay. Because. <laughs> okay now. Okay. You don't want to tell nobody. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm doing this reading. I'm not supposed to add on to the reading. But for real, you don't want somebody giving you all this love and want to promise you all this shit. You don't never see it, right? They want to make a choice between you and somebody else. And somebody got to make a choice between me with the lovers. Baby, don't stay where you at, baby. Because if you ain't been here all this time, shit, you ain't going to never be. What the fuck? Don't make... Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Give somebody a chance that want to love me for real. Don't come back to me. Give somebody a chance that, I, that you never had, Pisces. Because you might have somebody here want to come back to you fast, right? But, um, but they're making a choice between you and somebody else. Let's not forget the lovers is a choice, all right? They want to take it, they want to elevate, take it, this to a whole nother level. And they want to move fast with this shit because the time is running out, right? But, you got to remember, the love of means a choice, all right? Making a choice. It's supposed to be two, but it's you and somebody else, and they got to make it, honey, you ain't that damn, honey, it ain't that much loving in the world that somebody's going to make a choice between me and somebody else. No, 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 no. If you got to do that, stay where you at. I made a choice for you, because if I find out, I won't be a choice. I will be a goodbye. Okay? I'm not your choice, honey. This ain't having your damn way. This is not Burger King, honey. This is gourmet. Okay? All right, baby? Do you understand? You know, when the waitress come up to you and tell you how you want your steak cooked, you're damn right. I'm going to tell them exactly how I want it done. I don't need nobody choosing me over somebody else or they with somebody else. And they want to flip-flop between me and somebody else. Honey, at least one thing I can get somebody respect for is because they said they, they didn't want to commit me. You know, and that's why I don't fuck with them. Because I'm not going to see him play games with no grown-ass man. Okay, I did that shit in high school. Right now in my life, I don't need it. And my shit's still looking good, honey. What? That's why I am like a virgin. Oh. Touch for the very first time. Okay? Yeah, damn right. Like a, it says like a virgin. Like a virgin. It makes my heart beat. <laughs> okay? I never said I was a virgin. It said like a virgin. And that's exactly how this shit is. And I refuse to give myself up to somebody that wants to play with me. And my little pretty cat. Meow. Not this little cat ain't gonna give it up like that. Okay. 
So is somebody wanting to offer you that cup? Taking it to a whole nother level. I got this door that's coming in. I want to love you. And maybe it, it could be something brand new. Don't get it twisted. But, and then the will of fortune is you better go play the pick and scratch off. Because there's something here that is going to move towards a whole new level. Right? But they want to move fast. The will of fortune is moving. Then when you got the eight next to that will of fortune, that shit is speeding. That shit ain't in moving slow. That shit is moving fast. All right, that world is like, shit, it's like, let me run, run, let me get there before somebody else going to get there. All right? And take what's mine. Or, or, or what they think is theirs. You understand what I mean? Because somebody can think. Somebody want to, like, own you. Or somebody want to have you, like, you their possession. Or you their property. But only they know that they think that way. Because you damn sure don't see that shit. I know I ain't no damn body's property. And I don't give a damn what they think or what they know or all that shit. I'm not your property, boo-boo. Uh-uh, you got the wrong one. Think all you want. And if you got paid to think, you'll be a, a billionaire, honey. That's how I feel about this shit. But if something come, coming in, that somebody's in love, but um, in love with two people, and they want to take it to another level with you, but I don't know how somebody can be taking it to another level when there's somebody else involved. It's like... They were somebody, look at this shit. Now look at this, how this shit is. I'm with you. I'm with this person, but I'm testing you. It's like I'm a test to see if you're going to fall for this person that is committed to somebody. Stop, y'all two. Stop. For this, um, it's like somebody want to say to you, this is how they do it. I'm married. I'm with somebody, but then they want to mess with you. All right, some of y'all already in this situation. I don't fucking know. Shit. And if you are, shame on you, because, honey, I ain't being second to nobody. So, how that is, the bitches in the street, the hoes in the street get paid, honey. All right, hoes in the street get paid. And I'm not calling you a hoe. I'm just saying a hole in the street gets paid. They ain't giving no pussy for free. They giving it for a reason, damn it. Okay, and I'm not talking about bread from your ass. I'm not talking about paying a bill here and there. I'm talking about uh, somebody want to have two wives. Um, you got to have the money to do it. And if you bread coming and you ain't got no money to have no two wives or two pussies, okay? Or maybe more than two pussies. I don't fucking know what you got. All right, let's move on from this. Damn, why I got to stay on that that long? Oh, so this king of swords, a uh, king of wands, want to move in like the eight of swords. They are so fucking... They don't even know how to deal with you. This person don't, This person is so stuck in making this decision. Let me tell you something about the King of Wands. The King of Wands ain't no average nigga. This person right here is a natural born leader. I mean, they carry themselves like very well, but they don't know how to. They don't know how to um budget. They don't know how to keep their shit right. They be all over the fucking place. I don't care how good they look. I don't care what they got. Right. It's like this person, it, I don't know, it, 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 you know, I mean, but this person felt tied up, wanted to make an offer, wanted to take it to another level, but they tied up in the situation. So how the hell you want to take it to another level and you tied up in something? That don't make no damn sense, right? I mean, you want to make me an offer, but you with somebody else. What the fuck? Get, get the fuck out of here. Tell me more about the will of fortune and want. So somebody here is all up in that shit. Let's, tell, let's find out what this is all about. All right? Somebody here cannot. It's like they need to take a rest. They, they might act like, okay, I can't sleep. I can't think because I keep thinking about it. But the universe said nothing is going to change because you all upset. Nothing is going to change. Stop it, y'all, too. Nothing is going to change because... With the four of swords, you still trying to be into something. What it's telling you is, why don't you take a... Somebody here needs to take some time off. Somebody here needs to relax. Because just because you feel you're stressing don't mean that your stress is going to make something change overnight. It's not... It don't go that way. Your stress ain't going to go away. But you need to see it in another view. Like, maybe if I sit back and look at it for what it is... Maybe I won't be like this person. I feel like this person here 
feel like they tied up in the situation, but they tied they they tied up in their own situation. They don't have to be tied up in it, but they are. But then it's like they can't stop thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. And they think thinking is going to stop or fix the problem, but it's not. If nothing is going to keep, stop moving, the problem ain't going to go away. The problem is not going to go away at all, right? But your mind is raising. Like, I guess you think if I worry about it, maybe the worry will fix it, but it don't get, it. it's not going to fix it. All right? You're just going to still stay right where you at. All right? It's like your mind is way ahead of you, but it ain't nothing being, nothing's changing. It's the same old shit. It's like, oh, I want to have a future with her. Oh, I want to be with her. But you're still in the same shit you was in yesterday. Okay? Or what you was in last month or six months ago. you still in the same predicament. How the fuck you want to have something with somebody when you still in the same situation you was in? I don't know how many years or how many months or how many days. All right? But somebody here got the ace of swords. Somebody want to come with some strong ass communication. All right. They all up in their head about this communication. They all up in their head of how they're going to come to you and what they got to say. It's something here that needs to be said. All right. And it's something here that somebody cannot stop thinking about. But it's like they stressing over this. But stress is not going to help you. If anything... It's going to wear your ass down. All right? Stress can kill you, honey. It's like a conversation need to be had here. All right? I want something to move on. I want, I mean, I, I want to be with this person. But I, I'm holding on to myself. I, I'm holding back on it. But I need to speak to him. But I don't know when to start, where to go. Or if I should call or if I should text or if I should go there, if I should not. Because it's like somebody is stressing himself. Over, I mean, deep, I mean, I see nothing but swords. This is crazy. Somebody is, you could be messing around with a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or it, it, it's a, um, or you can have fire in this, but it's like, look at you, the lovers, but then you sit there with the seven of, 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 of coins, like, I ain't even worrying about this shit. I'm not even worrying about it, because I'm still planting my seeds, I'm still going to make my money. And they probably wonder how you get your money or how you living or whatever. But guess what, honey? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about how I'm living, how I'm making this money, what I'm doing, because I'm not sitting there worrying about you. Somebody is worrying so much about what you're doing, how you getting it, and who's giving it to you or whatever. They, they're trying to figure you out. All right? But somebody can't even figure their damn self, they damn self out. But they're trying to figure you out. That's the crazy part. You can't even get out of the predicament that you're in. But you're trying to figure me out. You all up in your head. Because you are. You you know you in your own way. But or whatever you in. Whatever situation they in. It's like they cannot even think straight. But you looking like you moving on. You like shit I'm going to make my money. With them or without them. And whatever you gave me. It don't even mean nothing. Because I'm going to still get my money. I'm not. You're not going to stress me out. Because you ain't giving me your breadcrumb bullshit ass. Chip change. Change. It ain't, it ain't, you ain't doing a whole lot. Change. All right? But you want to act like I'm going to kiss your ass for some change. Now I can give myself some change. What the fuck? I don't need you. Like, I don't need you to breadcrumb my ass. I don't need you to ghost me. I don't need you to do shit. Gas my ass. You know, you ain't going to gas me, honey. It's like I'm, I'm good, all right? So somebody is worried about it. Tell me more about this King of Wands and this sword. They feel like, they, like, honey, they feel like somebody is wanting you, but they don't know what to do. Oh, my God, this person want to take the leap of faith. Like, the dog is trying to tell the person, you better be careful. And I don't know, Pisces, but somebody, either you or them, somebody here want to take a leap of faith. All right? Whether it's you or them, they, somebody can't take it no more. They're about to break silence on this ass. All right. Then the four cups. It's like, with you, Pisces, it's like, should I take a leap of faith with this? I miss this person. All right. I miss this person. Um, am I missing out on an opportunity? All right. Somebody feel like, is somebody here that's missing you or you missing them? 
and maybe you feel like you're missing out on the opportunity, right? But the thing about it is, you show you you may have everything you want. You may be the kind of person that's being taken care of. But the thing is, you don't even know what to do with yourself because it's like um you don't know how to do or what to do with yourself because you feel like um I have everything I got here. I can have everything I want. I can be living right. And I may not be a billionaire, millionaire, whatever. But I still feel like it's something missing. Now, this ain't like the five of cups, like drowning or feeling like you're missing out on an opportunity. That ain't the same. This is like you, you, you can live good. You can be comfortable, but you still feel like even though you have it all, you're still missing out on this. Somebody feel like they're missing out. But the universe is saying, do you understand that all you got to do is turn around and I will give you this cup? Why are you stressing when you don't have to? Right? It's like somebody here, you are all up in your head over this opportunity that's coming your way. But... Stress, stress ain't going to get you nowhere. Tell me more about this lovers or choices, seven of cup, having that money in front of you. Now what you going to do with all that money that you've been working hard on? Look at all these cards that came out. Okay, the knight of cups is like, I know what I can do, but I still got to make sure everything is right. But this money is promising. A death card. Something has to end. It's like the Wizard of All. I went through all that. Every 10 to get to this. All right? I went through all of that. The Pope, the, the, the heart, the everything to get to you. But it's like somebody here is picking you up. All right? It's like a plan here that has to end. It's something here that's being still. But you're going to have to end something to get this. Because it's something here that cannot move that you cannot move or the next step can't be until you finish doing something. Some death here. The king of cups is there to say, well, the, oh, I'm sorry, this is the king of cups. I thought this was knight of, of pentacles. This is the king of cups. It's like something new is here coming your way, right? But you got to end something old to get what you get and what the news is coming. And then that, whatever it is, it goes from the cups all the way to the king of cup. And it's something that's coming your way. And it's going to happen fast. But remember. The knight of cups don't move quick. It thinks about everything it do before it makes a move. So it's something it has to end. Either with that knight of cup. Either with death or with you. But something it has to come to an end. In order for this person here to move, it's like they went from the from a junior to a senior to come in to make that move to talk to you. It's like somebody really cares, but they need to take care of business before they can make that full moon. Oh, did I say the full moon? So maybe this is happening tomorrow. But before they, they can make this move or before this is to come to you, something here must end. And I know it must end because I said it. It's the lovers. Okay, something here is something that's standing in the way of all of this. All right. And I feel like in the middle of your whole reading, it shows somebody here is stressed the fuck out. Stressed out. Okay. But it's like. You can't even sleep or whatever because it's a conversation need to be had. All right? It's somebody feeling like, I can't stop thinking about you. Um, But it's not like I'm in a bad place. I'm not in a bad place. I'm all right. But it's like, I can't stop thinking about you. All right? I mean, everything... It's like somebody can have everything, but what's missing is you. You are what's missing in my life. You. I can have everything here, but I'm missing you. All right? So, it's like you may think everything is going well, and it is going well. 
But it's that part of me that's called this. That is called this. Right here. That is missing. And the only. It's the only person that can feel that is you. And can't nobody. I don't. It's like I don't care who you meet. It's that person that's missing in your life. And can't nothing. Nothing compared to it. Because it's that you. It's what's missing in here. And it's like somebody goes from carrying their heart on their sleeve to putting it on their chest. And now we got to talk because it just, just can't go on. We're going to have to have this conversation. Something has got to end. All right? And that's what that's exactly what it feels like. It's like, why torture myself when all I got to do is reach out? I got to reach out. Because it's like, you are the band-aid that's over my heart. And you're the only one that can make me feel good. The only one. So what is missing is you. Mm, that sounds serious, don't it? All right, Pisces, I love you. If you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. I don't hate on nobody. There's enough out here for everybody to eat. Do you understand? I'll talk to you later.